The additional tax revenue will go towards building a community correction center in the back of this field just outside of Auburn. DeKalb County Council has yet to decide what the income tax rate will be because it's waiting from cities and towns in the county to determine if they're going to waive their additional funds or not for the project. I'm not sure if we'll give up the income for our residents. When a county income tax increase is approved, the money usually stays in the municipality where you live. DeKalb County Council is asking the towns in the county to waive the additional funds to reduce the burden for the community correction center that will be built on the county farm. Towns like Butler are considering only giving the county a portion of that fund. Waterloo Town Manager Tina Winker says she is working closely with her town council to figure out what they will do. It does get you thinking about, well, we could use that money for the new officer we hired this year. We could use it to do a new project in town. We might be able to use it to you know, do some more attractions in a park. We really need to have uh, a middle ground for those offenders that wouldn't necessarily be appropriate for the jail. DeKalb County Commissioners decided to move forward with the Community Correction Center instead of a new jail, partly to add a new work release program to the county. DeKalb County Community Corrections Executive Director Kelly Nauer says that's because they're already cramped, which becomes a privacy issue. And these ladies are on the phone all of their conversations are being overheard by everybody in the offices. The DeKalb County Council will set the income tax rate increase sometime in April. In Auburn, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.